all right we are talking everything weapon elements today how you can get them fast and why it's important now okay for the most part we know why it's important you need weapon elements to craft reshape and get good you know make your perfect god roll weapons you know the whole purpose of crafting is so that you can actually craft your weapons together and now in order to lock the enhanced traits you have to craft them and then level up your craft weapons now in order to even do this to begin with you have to get deep uh deep sense resonance uh deep sights resonance i'm sorry on you know it's a, it's the guns that have drop with a little red border and then what you can do is then you can just get uh, get some kills with them and then eventually you'll get the attunement fully uh progressed and then once you do that what you're able to do is then you are able to then extract uh, the actual elements which is very very good very very important and then you can pick between whatever you want obviously the uh type of elements that you get is depending on what type of weapon you're trying to craft uh, or reshape which is you know kind of important you know to just make sure you, you have an idea of what you're looking for for an idea of what you're searching for also one thing that i want to say that's kind of weird is that you actually uh the only way you can check what kind of like how much of your weapon elements that you have is at the actual uh relic crafting table itself uh just kind of one weird little caveat that i want to point out that you can't check it on your character at all times you have to be at the enclave to check it so just keep that in mind. Of course, you know, you come in here, look at kind of weapon that you want to craft, see what it requires, and then go ahead and start, you know, getting that uh, deep sight resonance and then go about your business. Now, the main thing that I really want to talk about is actually how you, the best method to go about getting these uh, that I have found is very, very easily. Okay, I made a video on this chest farm uh, yesterday, the time you're recording this. Uh, but basically, there is a chest farm that you can do over in the Queen's Bailey a little area. Okay, now I'm gonna be putting some footage up on the screen just so you kind of get an idea of what I'm saying. Uh, but there's basically a three chest farm that you can do in there. Uh, it also, it, they each have a guaranteed legendary drop, uh, which has a roughly like, a, I want to say like a 30% chance-ish of it being um, a red one, having the red border with deep sight resonance able to be a tune that you're able to extract the weapon elements out of. And then uh, what you're able to do is then reload the zone. Now, the thing about this uh, chest farm that's very important is that you'd have to have deep sight tier three. And in order to do that, you have to have a uh, tier three uh, rank with Finch or tier 15 uh, reputation rank with Finch. Okay. Once you get uh, to 15, uh, with Finch, you are able to access this chest farm. I do have a video on how to go from one to 15 uh, rep rank with Finch before you even get access to the uh, the chest farm up here. If you wanna do that nice and fast, you can do it in roughly, I'd say, just shy of a like under three hours. If you do it far, uh, effectively enough, you can get one to 15, and then you can easily go 15 to 30 really fast using this chest farm. But the point is, is that this chest farm is very easy to rack up uh, deep sight resonance. I was literally overflowing um, and these uh, deep sight resonance weapons uh, that I literally is like, okay, I'm just going to get all of them uh, in one go and I'm just going to go get all of them done uh, in one fell swoop. And obviously the point, the place that I want to talk about to do this, to get like the actual kills and the progress, uh, there's two main spots. Okay. First off, all 30th anniversary owners uh, that have access, uh, the Grass of Avarice, literally the entrance area is a pretty decent spot. It literally takes no spot to set up or anything. Very, very easy to go about in doing this. If you have Shadow Keep um, over here in the Sorrows Harbor where they have the six man public event that's always going around, that area actually can be relatively decent uh, to go about getting kills if you don't have a 30th anniversary. However, the best spot uh, by far, at least in my opinion, guys, it's the tried and true spot over at Sorochi, the Thrall Way. This is easily where you can get it it takes i'd say literally about two runs uh for some of these guns to literally uh just get them ready to be primed and stuff like that which is very very good and very important i was able to get all of the guns that i have on me right now i was get them able to get them done in just shy of 90 minutes and as you can see we had 10 uh, this is a uh, 15 and then that's another 20 so yeah dude uh, we was able to get 20 of these weapons ready to be extracted ready to go literally in under 90 minutes and i was able to get these weapons from the chest farm and literally under uh, 30 minutes because of uh, the chest farm is just that good it's that fast each of the chests are guaranteed uh, legendaries every single time very very good very very important and uh, some of these guns are kind of fun to play around with now of course a uh, neutral element um, is very very easy to get uh, my opinion i literally just get your favorite crafted weapon for me as the Osteo Strega and just go to town, go to work with it. Um, you can easily just by leveling up, you get neutral element very, very easy. Um, and to go to go along with your actual weapon elements that you're gonna get from deep zone resonance or deep sight resonance. I'm sorry, dude, I keep mispronouncing that. My bad, my bad, my bad. Now, one thing to also keep in mind here is that there is an actual maximum that you can hold. Uh, I, I'm not a, the biggest fan of that because like I'm gonna do like, like, let's be real here. Everybody's gonna be on the relic and stuff like that. Now, I guess, 
I guess to a certain extent, it can be relatively understandable uh, that some people might hoard a little bit too much. But overall, dude, I don't, I don't, I don't really like having that. There's a cap because 250, maybe a thousand would be a little bit like better. But I don't know, dude. 250. Eh. Regardless, though, the point still stands. Everybody is gonna is gonna be over here needing uh, needing weapon parts, neutral weapon parts. No, not weapon parts. Everybody's gonna be needing weapon elements and then neutral elements. And yeah, overall, this is definitely the best method. I'll leave a link uh, to the chest farm video down below and as well as the rep for one through 15 for Finch or for Finch, uh, for those of y'all that aren't at uh, tier, uh, tier three deep sites over there on the Shattered Throne. But other than that though, guys, I just wanna make this quick video, giving you guys a quick, easy guide on how to go about getting easy, easy weapon uh, weapon elements and neutral elements and stuff like that. It's very, very important. And we could all see some, I'm gonna go over the cap there. Oh no, I'm only at two. But uh, yeah, thank y'all so, so much for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. Get to farming, get to crafting some God rolls. My name's Kree, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.